Hey everybody, welcome back. As I mentioned in my previous video, I was going to print something my wife wanted me to make for her that I designed, and that's what you're looking at here in Cura. This is, by the way, the new version of Cura that just came out, 4.7.0. And this is a, a stand for atomizers for people who vape. My wife is, is pretty heavily into into vaping in the vaping world and all the accessories and yes she probably does have that many atomizers anyway one of my problems with printing this as you will see right now it is sliced in cura for a 0.2 layer height and a 0.5 line width and it's going to take you know basically 44 hours to print and use 954 grams of filament according to cura now cura seems to be quite conservative in its estimates. The time is always more and while I have never measured the actual amount of filament, I would like to, she wants me to use this marble PLA and I have never printed with it so I'd like to test it a little bit and 954 grams doesn't leave me a lot of room on a, on a one kilogram spool of filament to um, do any testing. So this is one of the things I went to the um, point six. So even if I Point 0.6 nozzle for, excuse me, I cut myself off there. So even if I go to 0 0.32 on the layer height from 0 0.2, uh, from 0.2, well, that cuts my time down to 27 hours, and it'll probably be 30. But with the with the 0.6 nozzle, I'm thinking about going to 0.4 to try and still keep it reasonably nice looking 0.4 and then a 0.75 line width <clears throat> at 7.5 not 7.75 <laughs> and then I can cut the wall thickness down from 3 to 2 and the top and bottom la top and bottom layers down from 3 to 2 and now I get a print time of 15 hours and five minutes which is I find to be quite acceptable for this <clears throat> but I'm still at 955 grams of filament and that is a problem now let me show you one of the problems I've had with this this type of print and what I've just found recently to cure it and you guys may know all about this I don't know uh, oh and the 0.5 layer excuse me the 0.5 line width for a 0.4 nozzle let me explain to you how that came to be because several people have asked me why I do that when I first started printing this kind of thing for my wife I would get if you can see it let me get it up here where these let me go to my um, preview here preview all around the walls in these circles I would get cracks all around the walls little openings that should not be there and nothing I was doing was curing that. And one of the big brains over at the Cura support forums, Smart Avionics, said try increasing your line width from 0.4 to 0.5 for your 0.4 nozzle. And I did that, and those cracks disappeared. And I've used it ever since. And I'm still set on three, still showing three walls. Anyway, I don't care for the purpose of this video. But another problem I have with this and I've always had with these large models that have these floors in here and you can see this particular part has multiple floors is let me let me zoom down to where we get uh, let me switch to my gaming mouse because that gives me a little finer control over this layer business right there you can see how this floor is drawn right on top of that infill and right now the infill is set at 20 percent I'd like to decrease it to 15 to get the um, to get the use of filament plus this thing really doesn't need 20 percent infill but as you see this floor is printed directly on top of that of that infill let's go to 15 percent infill and let's look at it and Now here's my problem. As you can see, this floor is now going to be drawn on almost thin air. And I have found no way to put support just under here. Now I know you can do mesh support in Cura. I fooled around with it for hours one day, and I hate to say it, but I couldn't make it do what I wanted it to do. 
it just I don't know maybe it's just me maybe you guys have figured it out I don't know but now my now I'm down to 800 grams of filament that gives me a little bit of a comfort zone I can test this filament with a few small models and I should still easily have enough to print this in my third now now I also my print time is down to 13 hours so <clears throat> I was doing some research on how I could get support under these areas for this floor and you can see I even have that second floor that appears right there on top of this fairly open open area where there's nothing but infill and the problem is I would have to go to three and four top layers in order to have this solid and not have these lines drooping down and have cracks in there so I found a master version of Cura by I think his name on over on the forums is Bertugal B-U-R-T-O-O-G-L-E if I'm getting that wrong if any of you big brains at Cura are watching this I can't imagine why you would be but if you are and I'm getting your names wrong I apologize let me know and I'll fix it but um I won't fix it I'll add it below because you can't fix a video after you've posted it <clears throat> so anyway I found this thing in this master version of Cura called I think it's called Smart Edge Support and I just happened to look and it's it's in the current shipping version of Cura 4.7 it was probably in 4.6 and I didn't even realize it but if we come to search settings and we search for edge you'll see it so oh, sorry not Smart Edge Support Skin Edge Support but it's set at zero in the master version I was fooling with it was set so I'm going to set it at three and eight layers is probably unnecessary. Let's set it at one. You know what? Let's leave it set at three because it will it will illustrate what it's doing a little bit better. And we'll slice it. And now you'll see before that floor appears, it's drawing it's drawing a wall around inside the infill and as it comes up now now there's a wall there for it to draw these lines back and forth in between now I haven't tested this yet I'm hoping that this works and you can see those numbers of lines that appear in the infill before the that floor gets laid down so uh, my hope is that that is going to give that floor a little more support and let me drop back to two layers on the top because it really doesn't need four or five or six layers on the top. If, if necessary, I'll do three, but I'm really hoping this solves my issue. And you know what? That's my cool thing for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing a cool thing of the day video all the time, but I just discovered this and thought I would show you before I go onward and completely forget about it. I am going to print just a couple of these. I have a model that just has two of these. I am going to print a couple of them and see if that see if that does fix the problem and make sure this this marble PLA does print nice and get the temperatures and everything figured out and I'll probably do a review of that filament as well but that's it for today hope you guys um enjoyed this video if you already know about this that's great if you didn't you know that's a valuable thing to know that you can turn on in Cura to get support in the infill for those floors have a great day and I'll catch you guys the next time bye for now